All right, guys, so I think, I don't know if things are starting to change for this game, but this is definitely a miracle. I literally read this like five minutes ago and I was like, holy crap, I cannot believe they're actually, Kabam is giving us two bots this year. Like that, <laughs> that is nuts. Um, let's take a read. Happy Ember Lights Festival, Commanders, to celebrate the season in which we remember that even the darkest days can be brightened by the sparks inside us. We have a surprise for you all. Later today, you'll find version 8.9 available to download, which I already downloaded. I ha don't see anything different yet, though. Along with various bug fixes and improvements, you'll find a new bot to battle and collect. Fear roars through the skies. Dirge has landed. A new anomaly has appeared and terror has come through it. Collect Dirge and command his fear-inducing engines, punishing your opponents for running away. So we can add him to your ultimate squad on December 21st at 10 a.m. And there's no info on how you can get them yet. I hope it's not through the Titan Fragment shard thing because that would require me to join an, an alliance and start doing like, you know, alliance missions, which I don't want to do yet until there's a clear path and direction that this game will be heading towards in 2022. Maybe with the release of the movie, things might pick up again. But for now, I am still super excited and I, you know, I can't wait to see him to fight against him and see just if there are new animations that is, again, really telling of Kabam's interest in this game. If it's, again, repeat repeated uh, animations, like if they're going to be similar to Ramjet, then mm, I don't know, 50-50, you know, but the fact that we got two this year, I think it's... Uh, it speaks volumes, which isn't saying a lot, but it is saying a lot, if you guys know what I mean. Uh, those of us that have been here for, you know, since, uh, when did this game come out? 2018? 2017? I don't quite remember. It's been, uh, it's been a long time, though. Uh, but anyways, Dirge, Faction Class, Decepticon, Warrior, Master of the Skies who takes fear to frightening new heights. Dirge's fear-inducing engines break both Autobots and Decepticons in their tracks as their sparks shudder in terror. We have the stats listed here. Basic abilities, fear, which is going to be a brand new mechanic in the game. Uh, bleed and anti-evade. So passives, the opponent starts with fear. If the opponent blocks, back dashes, or sidesteps three times before hitting dirge, they are affected by fear. Um... Okay, so three times before hitting Dirge. Oh, that's going to be tricky to fight against them. Um, so you can't, you know, backstep and sidestep uh, often or a lot against them. Otherwise, you're going to be afflicted by fear. Fear-inducing engine. While the character has fear, Dirge gains a, has 20 to 40% critical chance. Every 10 seconds while the character has fear, the opponent is affected by a bleed that deals 120 to 145% damage over two seconds. It is a warrior, so can be easily countered by certain uh, brawlers, Primal, Grimlock, Thundercracker come to mind right away, uh, even MV1. Um, so it shouldn't be too difficult to you know deal with this bleed. And it, it's only a max stack of one, so you shouldn't have too much to worry about there. Whenever an opponent backdashes, okay, uh, yeah, backdashes or sidesteps, they get a 20 to 40% attack boost for, no, it's, yeah, the opponent gets minus 20 to 40% attack for five, for five seconds. That's when they backdash or sidestep. And each time Dirge is hit by a light melee attack, 20% chance to nullify fears, and medium attacks have a 40% chance to nullify fears. So you can nullify them as long as you keep hitting them of course um, looks like special attacks will not clear anything out it's only going to be melee hits so keep that in mind excluding range as well so i don't know it seems interesting fighting against them seems like you're gonna have to go uh gun ho and you know constantly be dashing at him so you don't get afflicted by uh by this fear thing and then you know you eat some bleed damage which can you know add up after a while Special one, um, Morose Missile. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Run from your doom. 
10 to 35% damage if the opponent has fear, special 2, ruinous rocket, death creeps closer with every mistake, causes burn, dealing 10 to 35% damage over 4 seconds. If the opponent is affected by fear, the burn deals an additional 20 to 70% over 8 seconds instead. Uh, or sorry, not an additional, just instead of this, it deals the 20 to 70. And special 3, no escape, no way out, death comes for us all, apply fear. For 30 seconds, fear cannot be removed bleed effect from fear deals double damage Ooh, sounds uh <laughs> it sounds pretty good man um let's see causes burn uh i don't know interesting i'm trying to just based off what i'm reading see which one will be the best special to go with it seems for sure special three for 30 seconds you're guaranteed the bleed at least three times um if you use a special three since every 10 seconds it'll apply the the bleed um over two seconds which yeah it, the damage will be quick so i don't know it'll be interesting 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 character for sure signature ability grim mockery if the opponent misses with a melee attack while under the effects of fear dirge gains 10 to 60 percent attack for five seconds and reduces the chance to remove fear by 10 percent until the next time fear is removed Dude, playing as Dirge, I think, is going to be great. All you have to do is, you know, sidestep an incoming dash. You'll gain this uh, this bonus from the signature. And then, of course, if the opponent backsteps uh, or sidesteps, they get reduced attack. And then after 10 seconds, if they have fear, I mean, from the looks of it, it's just an endless fear, you know, that gets applied on the enemy unless they hit you. So playing as dirge i think it's gonna give you like a whole ton of benefits man it's gonna be he seems like a really good uh bot just reading this on paper uh synergies incoming paralyzing fear with ramjet when an opponent backsteps or sidesteps under the effects of fear four to ten percent chance to stun wow for half a second uh as well outgoing t uh to ramjet increases the trigger of ramjet's momentum by two to eight percent incoming uh starscream seeker um, 5 to 15% damage and 20 to 75% armor piercing for all Decepticon ranged attacks. And outgoing for 5 star, always active, 10% crit damage. So, of course, against scouts with evades, he's going to be absolutely, you know, really, really good. They're low health. Um, means they'll want to remove fear quickly to avoid bleed damage. Uh, for a lot of the battle, yep. Uh, weak matchups against brawlers, of course. <laughs> More, most of the brawlers, man, they can uh, easily remove fear and you know rush in with the melee attacks and anti bleed abilities. So we all know who those are. So yeah, man, interesting character. <laughs> uh, a very very good surprise from Kabam's part. So on behalf of me, <laughs> thank you, Kabam, Mike, Pinwheel, Thel, Hamburger or you know whoever mod especially pinwheel man he's been like the only one that's been uh putting up in this game for years so big thanks to him and uh what can we give what is this we'll give this one yeah oh my god optimus all right and uh if in case you guys have not um downloaded the update yet uh make sure you go ahead and do so let me switch over to my phone really quick and then we will open it up and there's a brand new wallpaper splash art at the beginning so let's go ahead and switch over to my phone and that way you guys can see dirge and we have starscream on the right we have thundercracker and ramjet in the back i'll play it one more time he's not in the game yet um again on the notes i think it says on december 21st but I can't wait. He looks uh, he looks good. He looks really good. I just hope he's not going to be, again, a carbon copy of Ramjet with, like, the abilities. I have a feeling he might be, just because, you know, the whole Seeker thing and Thundercracker was a copy of Starscream, so we may see that. And I'm trying to look for my Ramjet. Here we go. Yes, we may, we may end up seeing uh, similar abilities. So you guys want to take a quick look at Ramjet, and then we will force close, and then just open one more time. Kind of uh, a little similar, 
um, some differences of course with the head, but um, overall kind of similar, but anyways, hopefully you guys were excited. I can't wait on December 21st, which is, when is December 21st? It is on next Tuesday actually, a week from now, so we'll be able to take a look at him, see how we can collect him, and yeah, we'll go from there. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you guys were excited for him. And yeah, I will see you guys back here next week.